This is step three of the SAP Sales and Distribution case study. We're going to create a uh, business partner relationship here. So if you're looking at page 11 of your PDF, you should see this time we're going to go through logistics, down to sales and distribution, master data. Inside of master data, we're going to go to the business partners, into customer. And this time for customer, we're going to change and then from changing it, we're going to change just the sales and distribution data. So I double left clicked on the sales and distribution data. It popped up my customer number from before for the bike zone. You can see this here. If it doesn't pop yours up, you can go ahead and do a search here and go back in and use your search term uh, to find your, uh, your stuff. However, it should pop everything up there for you and it should also put in here all of your other information that's being pulled in from the database. This sales and organization is out of US East, wholesale distribution, bicycle is the division. You can either hit enter or you can click on the check mark either way to move forward. All right, in this screen that comes up next, uh, what we're gonna see when we get into to this one, it tells us that we are looking for relationships and you can search all over and again if you don't find it don't forget that it may be hidden click on more relationships is up there in the top relationship comes in now we're going to check to make sure that under the relationship category which is this that it needs to be has contact person so you may have to open this up and find have has contact person to get it in there if that didn't open up immediately for you. Next, in the relationship to BP, um, you need the number of the contact person that was in here before, or, or that you put in here before. Probably not there, so we're gonna have to search for it. So we're gonna left click on the search. That's moving us to page 12 of our um, PDF. You're going to be searching by address, and this time the person that you put in as a contact information, um, I used Jerry Birch, so I'm going to use the last name Birch. However, you have your la the last name of the person that you put in there. So I put last name by address, clicked on find. There is one person that I put in. That's good. I'm going to left click on it, brings in the contact number that I needed from before. Now from here, I have the number in, I'm going to click create. And whenever create goes through, it should bring me to a new screen. Under VIP, we put in one department is zero 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 two function. Again, you would not know these unless you were working at the company and knew what all this stuff meant. Um, but for the sake of moving this stuff along, this is uh, this is where we are. This is what's going on. Um, after we get all of this information in, go down, and make sure that's all there. It's telling us to click on the check mark. Um, let's see if we can click check there. continue and then once we get finished with that we have Jerry Birch coming in as a new business partner uh, as a purchasing manager last step we have to do here is save it and it says changes have been saved so that's all you need to finish up for uh, step three